Rebecca Vardy, who appeared in the 2017 series of I May Celeb, has revealed she's had another job. The 36 year old reality TV starlet, married to England striker Jamie Vardy, 31, treated herself to a new E cup chest at a top London clinic last month. Speaking to The Sun, the bombshell explained, Jamie loves my ass, he's happy that I'm happy, but he thought they looked great before. Rebecca first went under the knife eight years ago, but now admits she regrets ever having work done. She only underwent the second op because her old implants were rippling. The loose women regular explained, I wish that I'd never messed with my ass in the first place. But my self-esteem was so low and I just did it to try and boost my confidence. I was getting worried as mine felt like they were moving and it turns out that I did have problems with one of them. It had partially ruptured and when the surgeon took them out they were really yellow. She visited Dr. Dan Marsh, co-founder of the Plastic Surgery Group, for a procedure which specializes in small incisions under the breast. Rebecca said he inserted the implant under the breast, leaving a small scar which adds. Dot he also removed all old scarring and fixed tripling caused by her previous implants. Dot speaking of the appearance of her new S. Rebecca said, I love them because they don't look stuck on or fake. I've not had any pain really. I just can't wait to get into a better fitting this summer. Cosmetic surgeon Dan Marsh says most women who come into his clinic are now looking for smaller implants. Calling Rebecca's chest full. He said he likes the has she, hasn't she? Appearance, giving it the name The Secret Job. The mum of four previously told the Loose Women panel she would be undergoing an operation to correct her implants. In January, she said, I'm going under the knife again. I'm having my implants changed. I've had them in for over eight years now. In my ass. They're really rippling at the minute so they want to take them out and change them and make sure that everything's okay. It's not something I probably would be doing again.